So uh, we just heard that this is uh, called uh, Ancover Mikhail, St. Michael. So it was built in 1817, Ethiopian calendar, or 1825, European calendar. It was built by uh, the grandfather of uh, Emperor Minilik, named uh, Saris Lassi. So Saris Lassi's son was Haile Malakot. Haile Malakot's son was Minilik. So this was the grandfather, his legacy. He's built many churches. There is one right next door called St. Mary, and there is another one right uh, down the hill, which we will get to later on. But this is the original stage of the church. Nothing has been altered. The doors are the original. The windows are the original. Everything that you see is original. So uh, we will also tell the same story now in Chinese. All right. This uh, is... 圣迈克尔的教堂 他拉斯拉斯这个国王，他建筑了很多很多教堂，呃，这个是第一个，呃，这个教堂没有装修，就是都是他他呃做的，没有装修的，呃，所以这个教堂是幺八二五建筑。Semua mula tu aku lulus pala le, aku orang betul mungkin sebut je alat ini. Aku nama mereka yang betul mili, ia betul mungkin tu. Bandai nyok fillo, ya malat, bandai mister warna fillo. Kasi kafir lefita cina mita yo, so la sekali pala. Mili di kisibana baru besar. Kau kau bisa muncul zain yo, cuma bisa berit kasi. Anda nyok, so la sekali pala. Kalau tengah bawa lebih itu, so setengah buat cara kaza. Kasi sura demo, so setengah diplomat itu cina baru. Karena yang so setengah diplomat itu Perancis, Inggris, Italia, Rusia, cok. Kasi kau kau bisa sura ikan yo. Ia fikir fikir mana yang kata si jemuru di belah lain betul mi balau darah selama terus arah itu sahabat daraja muda itu tabrak benda. Aku mungkin ni dogan pada fikir baru yang muda rada pada mi balau itu. Aku mungkin nak kenyang mister baru ni. All right, Mulat, you just told us how this place was first built in 1741, 1741, and Six generation of kings, Shaw kings, have lived here, uh, and uh, it's just an amazing place. Uh, when they moved uh, the city from here in 1879, Ethiopian calendar, or 1886, uh, European calendar, they took most of the names. So the names that were used to be here were transported or transformed to Addis. So. Names like uh, Botara, names like Shola, they all came from here. The origin of their names is from this neighborhood. So this is what they call the secret gate. The secret gate is where people get in. Uh, and also uh, you have to uh, climb and hike 434 steps to get to the palace. So it's been kept very nice and he's the manager of the lodge, and he's doing an incredible job. So now our Chinese girl 
uh, will tell us the same thing in Chinese.在我们来的这个楼梯有四百七十五 是从这里这里搬过去的，在亚的斯亚维巴有一个地方叫阿拉达，呃呃，抽拉，呃，有有很多地方都是在这里，呃，在这里待过的，所以这个亚的斯亚维巴的很多地方城市，这里的呃地方
这里的地方有九十多教堂，那那些教堂里面有很多呃宝贵的宝贵的东西，有有历史的东西，呃，手手稿，所以为了呃保存他们，呃，他们呃建筑了这个保呃博物馆，然后把他们放在这里，然后。他们在这个地方，他们做很多很多右手做做的很多东西，然后把他们卖掉，呃，赚钱帮这里的这个社会的人。呃，这个博物馆里面有绘画，呃，收稿，呃，所以，呃，要看这里看这些博物馆的宝贵的东西，呃，是，呃，很值得，值得的。Uh, this is uh, the uh, this project was done by Gotha Institute and uh, Alliance Etio France with the support of the French Embassy. Thank you very much, merci beaucoup. Fostered to, to reclaim the documentary material from an Ethiopian perspective, and they are thanking the two curators, Hugh Fontaine and Mifta Zaleka, accompanying the project with eight Ethiopian named Abi Lasafa. So forth, and that uh, they have done a great job. We hope that the exhibition will open the dialogue and prepare the way for future research and artistic create creativity. Uh, what Goethe Institute said here in German, was du erbt von deinen Vätern hast, erib es, um es zu besitzen, was man nicht nutze. Ist eine schwere Last, nur was der Augenblick erschafft, das kann er nutzen. Johann Wolfgang von Gotha, 1749. Er 埃塞花国，呃，为为他们做的，呃，建筑建筑的一个博物馆，呃，这个博物馆，呃，做组这个博物馆里面这些人都帮助了，呃，比如说，所以他们想感谢这些人，呃，呃，冬天，米夫塔的那个，呃，阿贝阿萨巴这些人都帮助了做这个博物馆。一个人把钱都用。Jadi mana yang lebih bersihkan? Hendak kan apa mesti rasanya nanti? Tarik kumbalan negara cawalan, kini tidak boleh adi su tarik. Ia lebih bersihkan. Engineer Samuel Tapas, ia sunshine construction balik bet. Bila mada cew, ia dan lu buta kontrak saya kenyu. Lebih terasa pun kita kem, hal tamar kita ni betul kesian selalu. Bezim masyarakat, angkau berlay, ini bermain betul dan betul kesian dengan asal nasut. Begitu main itu nanti betul tahu nanti ni selalu. Kita tuntun tarik, awal ni, ya ya sebenar. Negeri betul kesian angkau berlay dalam tu.
ለመጀመሪያ ጊዜ በ1768 ባስፈወሰን ጊዜ ነው የተመሰረተው ከዛ በኋላ ደግሞ ጣላት ኢትዮጵያን ወረረብ ሰዓት በ1998 እድሰት ተደርጎለት ነበር ከእድሰቱ በኋላ በ1931 ቤተክርስቲያኑ ሙሉ ለሙሉ በመብረቅ ተቃጥሏል ከዛ ጊዜ ጀምሮ ምንም አይነት ቦታው ላይ ቤተክርስቲያን ህንጻ ስለላል ነበር ወሳቾ እንዳሉ በአዲስ መንገድ ተሰጥቷል ይህ ቤተክርስቲያን ሌላው ታሪክ አጼ ሚኒሊክና ጥቂጣይቱ በ1875 እዚሁ መዳነልን ቤተክርስቲያን ውስጥ ነው የተገቡት ፈረሰው ቤተክርስቲያን ውስጥ ማለት ነው Oh thank you very much I uh, wanted to uh, mention the name of the person uh, that uh, the owner of uh, Sunshine Construction he always is, uh, promises that whenever he gets a, a job or a co- contract job to do roads he will uh, invest on the school and the church and with that plan he is able to help rebuild this uh, church uh, it's the church is called Madani Adam Holy Savior and uh, it was founded a long time ago in the beginning of 1800s but uh, his majesty emperor Minilik the second and his wife uh, uh, queen and the empress Taitu were married here in 1882 and uh, the church was uh, basically uh, a good church but uh to give credit to the italians they rebuilt it and made it better in 1936 and 37 time frame but unfortunately the whole church and the whole structure was destroyed by lightning so from 19 from 18, 1936 uh, 37 till now there was no church so they had to work on rebuilding this try to keep it as much in the previous to conserve as much as they did a lot of uh, the, the church was destroyed so all they could save was the the foundation and but the roof is made more or less just like the original roof it's a beautiful uh, monument for the people thank you uh zega wo men hou mian de zega jiao tang jiao madhani alam jiao tang zega jiao tang uh shi yi qian uh 我们国家的国王和他的妻子一起给爱主结婚的地方在这个地方安库伯这个麦特汉人的教堂是其中这里的教堂里面一个的要要求其三这个教堂被打雷 ሻው <laughs> ረጅም ጊዜ በኋላ ጥናት ተደርጎ ያጼ ሚኒሊክ ቤተ መንግስት ምን አይነት አሰራር ነበር ወይ ሚለው ከተጠና በኋላ እንደምታውት ታሪክ ነው ደዚህ የመመለሰራ ተሰርቶ አሁን ከኋላችን የምታውት መኝታ ቤቶቹ በርካታ ቱሪስቶች ወደዚህ የመጡ የሚስተናገዱበት ነው እንግዲህ በርካታ እናንተም መጣችሁ እንደምትገቡኝ አስፈናቂ Well thank you very much this is uh, the palace of uh, his uh, majesty emperor Minilik II and uh, it was built a while back but in 1936 uh, a lot of ethiopian patriots were fighting from this location and so the italians took aim at this palace and destroyed it completely and utterly there was nothing left because italians were bent on destroying mm-hmm. ethiopian history and destroying the legacy of his majesty minilik the second and there was no uh, activity here at the palace from 1936 up to 19 uh, almost 2003 2003 after researching all the old pictures and all the eyewitnesses of the kind of construction that there was it was rebuilt exactly the way it was in uh, the 1800s so it's a beautiful lodge now people come here the tourists enjoy themselves 
unbelievable air, beautiful location, glorious mountains, a lot of greeneries, just beautiful place galore. It's about, I would say about uh, uh, 12,000 feet above sea level, and maybe about uh, 5,000 uh, in metric. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but about 12,000 feet on, on, the, on, the, on the feet side. So, and then our friend here will tell us the story, the same thing in Chinese. Uh Rahou This is uh, the church of uh, Taklai Mount. It was built in 1821, Ethiopian calendar, which means 1829, uh, European calendar, 1829. 
It was totally uh, not a, made out of rock, and uh, through the support of uh, our engineer friend here, who has done a lot of things, uh, engineer Tarrafa Raswark, has been able to do this in the year 2000. We supported uh, most of the work here. Incredible mountain, incredible church. We will show you what is up there. Uh, totally uh, filled with a lot of trees. And uh, elevation goes up like a thousand meter just from this location alone. It's amazing. So we'll see the inside now. Thank you. The church bell. The church bell that you see over there. The was made, was built by a company which uh, constructed the U.S. Freedom Bell, the one that cracked as the, when they started it. The company is located in Annecy, France. And what we did was we they smelted the alloy with the effigy of Saint Taglaim on it and uh, our name and that's uh, so you'll, you'll hear uh, the bell in a while so it's a very historic bell 